Ori, what is going on with this? I don't know, but oh my god. I think she was so cute. cute. She's a little cranky right now, so I want to wear her out a little bit. Guess what, Laurie? What? Got a baby fox coming in. Are the rumors true? Yep, we got a baby fox coming in. Yes. Kelsey. What's up? Baby foxes! Oh my god! Savvy, guess what? Huh? Baby foxes. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. We actually have a buddy of mine, Stan Lee, the Dirt Monkey. He's got a cool YouTube channel. He's coming to visit and he's bringing us some baby foxes. How awesome is that? It's going to be an absolutely amazing day. And I hope that you guys have a start to a great day. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think about these baby foxes. And Stanley just showed up. Stanley, what's Hi, up, my man? What's going on, man? Oh, good to see good you. Good to guys. see you. What did you bring us? Oh, look at that. Oh my, <laughs> my god. We just rescued these from Fur farms. So these little guys came from a fur farm oh my where the, they just raise them and at the end of the season oh they harvest their fur off from them. Oh my gosh, so these guys are safe. That, Stanley, that is like God's work right there. I, I love it even more. I knew he was bringing me some baby foxes, but I didn't know the backstory. This is amazing. So these, there was three of them and they were kicked out of the nest by the mom and the farmers just come by and they literally call them right oh then and there. And so there's an organization that we work with is called saveafox.org. Um, and so what they do is they run out immediately the same day. We've literally had to bottle feed them oh every gosh. four hours with an eyedropper to get him to the point. And by the way, I'm gonna put a link into Stanley's YouTube. It's got a really cool YouTube channel, especially if you guys like equipment and all kinds of cool stuff, you gotta check him out. We're gonna to get to know him a little bit more. Uh, he's also doing some cool stuff TV-wise, whatever. He brought a friend, which is local. Keith Kelfus on YouTube, yep. All right, and, and these guys do similar things. So again, put all the links in the description. Ori, what is going on with this? I don't know, but oh my God. I think she was so cute. Do you like Rumble? Baby, do you like him? Oh She's not God. sure, <laughs> but I'm in love. I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen a fox like this. Oh my God. I like it's how they're intelligent so and affectionate. Oh, it's crazy, right? It oh does, gosh. it reminds me of a cat. Oh. Did I tell you we had a fox coming in? Yes. What do you think? I want one. You want one? I well, you got one right there. You can take it home. Can I take it home? No. Phoebe, what do you think, girl? Do you love it? Do you love it so much? Oh, do you want it as a pet? I think oh. I think she's indifferent. I don't think she loves it. She's just kind of like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one of the things about, um, what is, I feel sick to my stomach right now. <laughs> Can, can I hold it? No, you can't hold oh. it. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, Guess what? Guess what, Eric? Word. Stanley told me, and I'm going to introduce you to Stanley in a second. He said, when you give it to Eric, tell Eric it's available for adoption. Is it really? Mary! Mary! Mary? Hey, Mary. Come over here. Yep. yep. Mary! I'll take her home. Oh, yeah. Uh, no problem. Oh! Guess oh, what? Please. No, don't Mary. touch it. Don't touch I'm it. I'm so Kelsey. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute! <laughs> Are you guys already thinking about buying them? Oh yeah. yeah! Where's the cool CTM here? Yeah. Where, where's, where's the so again, it's a little bit of a reset. Stanley actually helps rescue these guys. And again, this is a little marble fox and it is absolutely adorable. I mean, look at this little thing. But I mean, how sad is it that some people literally raise these and then just use them for fur? I mean, I am so against that. I mean, there is no need in this world with all the synthetic things that we can make to hurt an animal like this just so that you can have a fashion statement. I mean, look at this cute little dude right here. Could you possibly hurt it? It's so awesome that there's organizations like Save a Fox that will literally save these little guys. And again, although these guys have only been domesticated for the last maybe 100 plus years, they're certainly not dogs or cats that have been domesticated for thousands of years. They still are pretty awesome little pets. Now, now listen, not everyone can have them as a pet. State to state, there's different laws, but oh my God, they are so cute. I have been around a lot of animals, but I've never messed with a little baby fox before. It is so cute. And again, it is so awesome that Stanley's doing this. And like I mentioned, I'll put all his links down in the description if you want to know more about his fox. He has an adult fox as a pet, but he also does a whole bunch of other really cool stuff on his YouTube channel. So I'm so happy that he came and let us experience these cute little monkeys. Now I'm going to actually take him into my world and introduce him to some reptiles. All right, so uh, we've just been having a good time with the foxes for a little bit. But again, now I bring Stanley and Elliot into my 
my world, which is reptiles. Uh, have you ever handled a big alligator? Uh, no. Is his name Lefty? His name is, is that, his name is actually RJ, but uh, I am going to get RJ for you. There you go, my man. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is cooler. What? Can I hold it? Absolutely. <laughs> He's going to shake, but he will not bite. <laughs> Look at this oh, guy! Hawk can do me too! I know, right? And I tell you, the thing I love about guys like Stanley is he's like, just like, can I hold that? He just jumps in, RJ's swishing around, he's going crazy, and he just got him held up. Oh, is that this cool or what? Is, oh, I've never held an alligator this big in my life. RJ, heart. you keep that mouth shut, you silly monkey. I have never held an alligator this big. Well, RJ is a friendly alligator. I've had him since he was a little tiny baby. Of course, he lost his hand right here, his arm right here, to another alligator as a baby. Okay. Uh, so when he was real young, he lost it, but he's been completely fine, and you guys know that I love him to death, and uh, I love giving an opportunity to introduce my world to people like Stanley, who has amazing stuff. As a matter of fact, we were watching some of his videos this morning, and some of the stuff he's got going on. Guys, seriously, if you're into anything having to do with like cool machinery, landscaping, tearing things down, you gotta check his stuff out. Again, I'll put all the links in the description. This guy is one cool cat for sure, so uh, show him some love. And by the way, when you go over there, tell him that Brian sent you, okay? That'd be awesome. I'd love to have you guys, and this is an amazing experience, so yes, thank you so much. All right, so we have, obviously have Lucy out. Now, the thing is, is that I'm letting her kind of wear herself out for a minute before I bring Stanley in, because she's actually grabbing, and she just shed, so that means she's about, 30 days away from laying eggs, and she's a little cranky right now, so I want to wear her out a little bit, make sure she's completely fine, so that way when Stanley comes in, he has a good experience and doesn't get bitten. <laughs> but uh, Lucy's definitely, she's fine, but you can just tell by her actions, she's a little bit, a little touchy right now. I'm trying to wear her out, but she's wearing me out. Okay, girl, you're doing good. You're fine now, so any minute she's gonna, be at a point where she's gonna calm down. Okay, all right, girl. She doesn't want to stop, and the idea is a couple folds here. Number one, we want to wear her out, keep her moving. Number two, we always want to keep her head to a point where she's not coming back on us. And as long as her head is going straight like she is now, I don't have to worry. As soon as her head S's up and her tongue starts staying out, like really rapid movements, then I know I'm in trouble. Look at how beautiful that snake is right there. Woo. She is gorgeous. I will tell you, this is one beautiful animal. There you go, sweetheart. I know. I know. That's okay, sweetie. Okay, now her body's resting on the floor. Does that make her more comfortable? Uh, yeah, to some extent. It's also going to give her a little bit more leverage, which can be a little bit more dangerous, but okay. it's okay. No, bad. We're fine. What happens with retics is they'll go from being your friend to fighting you in a second. Just the way, and you can just tell the movement in her head, the way her eyes will kind of change and shift. See, she's starting to S a little bit. So that means she's gotten, oh gosh, that was not good. It's okay, it's girl, it's okay, sweetie. No one walks in front of her right now, they get bit, guaranteed. It's okay, sweetie. Oh, she is so tense right now. Don't move. All right, so guys, basically, it's all about like reading animals, and and Lucy was being super good, you know, just kind of chilling out, and then all of a sudden she kind of stiffened up. She's in a nest right now, and uh, I'm not in the best of position. I'm not going to lie to you. She's uh, she's got me into a position where she's kind of got my whole body wrapped. She's sitting there, but uh, I've got the hook to protect me a little bit. I think we're going to be completely fine. It's just going to be a matter of when we're, the cage is clean and she's ready to go back in her cage. We're just going to have to navigate in a way where I don't get bit. But uh, she's definitely in that strike mode right now, right? You just, with three ticks, when you start reading them, you'll see they tense up. Their tongue will start sticking out more. Uh, their, their pupils will move a little bit differently. Uh, they'll even kind of buck you when you touch them. They'll kind of buck you back. That's when you know, okay, they're about to strike. And uh, she's definitely in strike mode right now, but I'm gonna be okay. I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, as long as I play my cards right, uh, we'll be fine. And we'll get her back in her cage in no time. Well, we're gonna just play this by ear. I'm gonna I'm gonna let her tell us what we're gonna do. Okay. And what and I that, wanna do is kind of pick her up, but I'm gonna let her dictate what movement I'm making and what direction we're going. Right now, I'm gonna just try to see if I can get her to start moving her head out of this S shape. And because right now, she wants to bite. Big time, but sometimes you just gotta go for it. You know what I mean? There you go, sweetie. You're good now, right? There you go. Off you go. She's good now.
There you go. And of course, guys, uh, after a little fun with Lucy, uh, I've got Daisy out for Stanley here. And uh, definitely a much easier snake to handle. But you can get an idea. This is like half the weight or less. And it's still a lot to kind of handle, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. You've got the whole brunt of her right well, it's now. It's because the entire animal is muscle. It's all muscle. All muscle. And uh, she's amazing, though. But this is the one that I literally take out around kids and stuff like that because I can trust her so much. And reticulated pythons are the largest, right? These guys will max out at, you know, 25 plus foot long and uh, and literally one of the heaviest body snakes on the planet. I mean, Daisy here eventually might get, you know, close to 300 pounds, believe it or not. What is she? weighing in it now? She, right now she's probably maybe 120, 130. Believe it or not. It's a lot of weight for 120, 130, right? I would have I would have guessed way heavier than that. That's just what I just from me. the feel of it? Yeah. It's hard to explain to people when you have a snake this size on you how much muscle and how much dead weight there is. The only other animal I've ever experienced that could actually do that in a, such a surprising fashion, I used to raise octopuses. Oh yeah. And so when you go to handle an octopus, the amount of strength, the, the amount of muscle mass in an animal like that, yeah. it reminds me of this. She's basically using us like we're trees, right. like we're branches. That's basically what's going on right now. She's like, okay, we've got a Stanley branch and we've got a Brian branch and I'm gonna use both of them. It's amazing that people can't find the beauty in something like that. You know, I mean, you look at that and it's just so sleek and so amazing. It's just, uh, I just have never understood how someone can look at a snake and not just see unbelievable beauty, you know, and especially one like Daisy, you know, because she's so colorful and so amazing. And her temperament is so cool. She's got great personality. Do I go back to your cage, girl? You all done? All right, let's get it going. There you guys have it, cleaning the big snakes. I think Stanley did an absolutely amazing job with Daisy, with Lucy, uh, certainly did an amazing job with RJ. Uh, so it's cool to kind of enter him into our world, but he actually has to get going in a minute because he has, what, an 11 hour drive home? 14. 14, oh, 14, 11, 14, what's the difference, right? Before Stanley gets going, I actually saw something in the parking lot that I, uh, wanted to ask him about. Let's go check that out. Listen, everybody, we get five comments saying, get a fox. Mary will let me get a fox. Please, guys, help me out here. So I walk out in the park lot and I see this. What the heck? What is up with this? <laughs> this actually car was totaled out by hail. So this was this is a salvage car. Oh my God. And so here's the thing. This is actually rhino lining on top of the car because it was irreparable. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sitting in a rainstorm looking at it going, how do I fix this? And I realized that texture covers texture. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I mean, look at these ribs. I mean, my God. Look at, and you, yo, I'm thinking he drove 14 hours in some like suburban or something like that. I, with a car this fast, that, that 14 hours was like three hours, right? Check it out. Oh my, what? Holy cow. Do you guys see this? I mean, come on now. You got snakes get in here. This is this is all me, man. This is like my car. Oh my god, this is so rad, man. Oh my god, I don't feel as bad for him that he has to drive 14 hours now. Check out the seat. This is one of my favorite. Oh cars. my gosh. Oh, look at that. It's awesome. Oh my god. This is freaking cool. Oh my god. Well, that surprised me for sure. This is absolutely cool. Well, hey man, it's been so awesome having you, dude. You drive. My honor, man. Yeah, man. You drive safe on the way home. And, and listen, you're gonna see more of this guy. We got a bunch of stuff coming up, so uh, it's gonna be absolutely incredible. I'll see you soon. All right, bro. God bless you. All right, man. Thanks, man. And with that said, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm actually going to take Savvy here in the next day or two and let him run around our yard with Speedy and just give him a little outside time so he can enjoy the elements before we get him over to the zoo next door. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Wasn't it absolutely an amazing day? And I hope that you guys have an amazing day too. Once again, you guys mean the world to me and I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Just go ahead and smash that like button. Make a comment down below turn the post notifications on. As always, make sure to be kind to someone, and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.